I have a line that I like uh, that my mother shared with me when I was a kid um, about relationships and it's uh, the world stands out on either side only as wide as the heart is wide. That's the Ingles. In 2008, Ortora was already well known. Two of our kids were already born and uh, we were looking for a real place where we could settle down. Here we are, you know, a uh, number of years later. Baruch Hashem, blessed with, uh, with four children now, and they're flourishing. We feel we're flourishing. When we came for Shabbos that first time, we left and I said to my husband, this is just a community where I can really imagine raising our children, and I think that's what sealed the deal for us. I was very excited to come to a community where people are warm and welcoming. And the people in the shul, not only in word, but in deed, are so intrinsically connected to Medinat Yisrael. Uh, that sung to us then as now. Lori and I grew up in Bnei Akiva, and knowing the shul had a real steady history of support for Medinat Yisrael is just in sync with who we, we are. I think that our kids have learned so much from the examples set by the community. We really are so fortunate to have had all this time to get to know members of the community in a real intimate way, and I think we are the better for it. Absolutely. I consider that a great, great privilege, and it only, for me, redoubles my sense of mission and purpose, thinking about them, um, davening for them, dancing with them, or, God forbid, standing in line to offer them condolences. Every person, I believe, has a tafkid, a role in life. Now, my son, Tzvi, has certainly found his tafkid, and Lori's tafkid, undoubtedly, was to work with him to make a very positive impact on their community. Rabbi Engel has been in our community for 10 years, which in the history of Chicago was a very brief period of time. But his impact on Chicago has been significant. He served as the president of the Chicago Rabbinical Council. He's been on the executive of the Rabbinical Council of America. He's involved from the Federation standpoint in the greater Chicago Jewish community. He's involved in APAC to a great extent in the national and international scene because he sees himself serving the greater Chicago Jewish community and Kalal Yisrael. Oratoro has been successful for 50 years. Rabbi Engel has come in and I think done a successful job of engaging those who've had connections with the previous rabbinate, but also building on those relationships to get people to go to another level. Rabbi Engel's presentations from the pulpit are extraordinary. When one listens to his substantial expressions of intellect, it is energizing and exciting to hear the journey that he'll take us intellectually. I so remember the first Simchat Torah in, in our shul and how it, it was electrifying what he brought to, to, to Or Torah. He got all the, uh, the children involved and the young adults involved in singing and dancing. We're not a shul for young people. We're not a shul for retirees. We're not a shul for middle-aged people. We're sort of an everything shul, and they really are an amazing, welcoming representation of our shul and our community. A rabbi can't be successful on their own. It's, it's really a team effort. And Lori is someone... He's <laughs> I've always seen Lori... I've always seen Lori as standing together with Rabbi Engel in the leading of the community. They have one vision, um, and they really work together hand in hand. Rabbi Engel and Lori together really open up their home for the community, for the shul, for members of the shul, and are hosting and always have an open home for any members of the shul, and it's really a beautiful thing to see. It's a hard job to be a Redfordson, and she has managed to cross the line between not only being the Redfordson, but being her friend, being very much a part of the community. She always has a smile on her face. She's always friendly. She's always gracious. And while they're being so busy with the community and somehow taking care of everybody else's family, at the same time, their own family is just as much as a priority. When they came, they really, they came with two little kids. And uh, it's been very special to see 
their kids grow over the past 10 years, watching Gavriel get up and lead, lead davening, and watching Kobe get up and lead davening, um, and the girls involved with all sorts of projects within the show. You can see the whole family gets into being part of the community. It's really a family affair, whether it's uh, when they have the Noah's Ark Day or so many other wonderful activities that are sponsored by the shul. Um, there's, there's really a lot of involvement for all the children, and we know how much Gavriel and Kovi were excited every time they got called up to uh, sing Anim's Miros, and the entire family loves to participate in the shul. Their kids are hysterical. I think they really let them be who they are and let their personalities shine through and they all have a lot of personality. You just feel the warmth. My parents are very big role models that just everything they do is like so amazing. I like, I'd like to make, be like them someday. My mom used to do hot lunch for the school. Seeing my mom doing things for the community and for the school it shows me how she recognizes not only us, but uh, other people. My parents always um, are very good with me because they teach me Torah. And well, I go to this thing on Saturday night. That's very fun because my dad and my mom come with me and I learn Torah with them. I think my father is very good at empathizing with people and like feel like he can like feel, like feel for their pain and like help them like through whatever tough challenges. And also, uh, he's also very good at speaking. He is very passionate when he talks and he's able to come up with ideas like on the spot of what's going on and he adds some jokes into his speeches, which I like. It's been so nice to watch him and Laurie raise the kids and watch the kids grow up and it's really special to have that type of decade of uh, somebody, our lives, their lives, you know, interacting. And that's, that, makes, that makes us feel good, it makes us feel special and connected. There is a, uh, an idea that Mikol Malamdai Hiskalti from all of our teachers we have learned, and even though they are our kids, we have learned so much from them. They've been wonderful role models to us about how to extend oneself, how to be giving in ways that teach us as we go through our own, our own lives. I'm so proud of uh, Lori and Svi because I feel that uh, I should be giving them respect, but yet they're the ones who are always giving us respect. Lori and Svi were made for each other. The depth of Rabbi Engel's knowledge, Lori's warm personality, and their uh, outreach in the community has uh, contributed and is responsible for their success. My husband started his first job as a rabbi the day after our Shevar Brachot. And as you might imagine, we had no idea what was in store for us. It's enriched our lives so greatly. We really see this as an opportunity to celebrate Or Torah, to recognize the achievements of all those who really came before us, both in the rabbinic role and in the lay leadership role, and to be a part of such a dynamic community at such a pivotal moment in its history. And I am so grateful. Congregations where people get together to share joy and sorrow, a place where people come to connect to Hashem, to the extent that uh, the Rebona Sha'olam has given us the good fortune uh, to be part of that story, we're ever grateful to him. And we're ever grateful to this beautiful community for everything that it stands for, as its name uh, uh, declares, or Torah, the light of Torah. We hope that's gonna continue to shine for many more good years to come. We're proud to be part of it. <laughs>